And when we started creating content, we realized that we had those, we had four solid topics, even though we had those three areas, uh, four emerged. Uh, that that we couldn't find addressed really anywhere in other uh, professional development that was out there. So to quick launch a computer science career for a teacher and help them understand all of the concepts in it, we designed two modules. So that one topic we broke up into two modules. And the first one is what is CS? And what is CS pulls back the curtain on computer science. Uh, and allows people to find out once and for all what it is and what you should be teaching in a computer science classroom. This way, there aren't any more confusions um, between like, is this computer literacy? Is this computer science? Um, so we created that course first. Then we, when we saw that teachers really wanted to go beyond just what the curriculum was to be able to integrate it, we thought, well, man, we really need to help them identify what standards they want to work in and not just identify the standards, but unpack them so that they really know what that learning opportunity needs to be for students to prove mastery. And so unpacking the CS standards helps you identify all of the resources that are available to help you unpack those computer science teacher um, association standards. Um, and create learning uh, activities. So to help teachers create a learning plan uh, they, that they need to feel more comfortable with where they are and focus on their growth, we created Mastering CS. And lastly, we created equity, inclusion, and belonging to ensure that our teachers learn the skills to help those marginalized communities get access, feel comfortable, and feel like they belong in a computer science classroom. And these topics really help set those teachers up to map out the journey that they're going to take. And like most learning journeys, identifying your strengths is only going to help you to set that destination. There are so many areas to explore in computer science, such as artificial intelligence, robotics, machine learning, website development, that where you take your students really depends on you. Um, I strongly encourage you to identify your strengths and explore the CS areas to see where they overlap. Because for example, with a strength in social justice and an interest in programming, you might find yourself drawn to creating projects for your students that has them creating apps that help serve a need in the community. So really the, the sky is the limit, um, but I do believe that those two places are a good place to start. <laughs>